In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning. This mic is offered for the souls of Caroline White. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the ancient saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, brothers and sisters. As long as in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is being proclaimed, in that I rejoice. Indeed, I shall continue to rejoice, for I know that this will result in deliverance for me through your prayers and support from the Spirit of Jesus Christ. My eager expectation and hope is that I shall not be put to shame in any way, but that with all boldness, now as always, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life in Christ and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me, but I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit, and this I know with confidence that I shall remain and continue in the service of all of you for your progress and joy in the faith, so that your boasting in Christ Jesus may abound on account of me when I come to you again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? My soul is thirsting for the living God. I went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God, amid loud cries of joy and thanksgiving, with the multitude keeping festival. My soul is thirsting for the living God. 
อาเลเลยาอาเลเลยาอาเลเลยาอาเลลูยาอาเลลูยาอาเลลูยา The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine. At the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people were observing him carefully. He told a parable to those who had been invited. Notice how they were choosing the places of honor at table. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not recline at table in the place of honor. A more distinguished guest. The new may have been invited by him, and the host who invited both of you may approach you and say, "Give your place to this man," and then you would proceed with embarrassment to take the lowest place. Rather, when you are invited, go take the lowest place. So that when the host comes to you, he may say, "My friend, move up to a higher position." Then you will enjoy the esteem of your companions at the table. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the bishops who were imprisoned in mainland China for over 25 years because of their communist regime, he wrote to his people like this: "Don't worry about me. I am really free, even though I am in the prison. I am happy because Christ is in me, and Christ is being proclaimed." Today we hear from the letter of Saint Paul to Philippians. The letters filled with the words "rejoice, joy." At the time, Saint Paul was in the prison. He was writing to the Philippians to rejoice, and his main reason, he said, because Christ is being proclaimed in any way. So he rejoiced, and I continue to rejoice. This lesson is also true not only for the apostle and for bishops, for every one of us. If we live the Christ-centered life, we have the reason to rejoice, because Christ is the source of all our happiness and life meaning. You remember October 10, Pope Francis beatified at SCC. Carlos Acutis, who said, "Find God, and you will find the meaning of your life." In today's psalms, we say, "My soul is thirsting for the living God." When we find God, we know that He is lovely, most perfection, most beautiful, and all the good are in Him. So, naturally. Our soul is thirsting for God. Only when we possess God, we have this fulfillment of our life. In today's gospel, Jesus is giving the same message: to put center Christ in our hearts and to eliminate our selfish desires in our actions. Not seeking the positions, but God will put us whatever is fit for our position. The only thing is. Christ is being proclaimed in our hearts, and we are very happy. Every mass when we come here, 
we hear the word of God. It is the school of selflessness. When we attend every Mass, the Mass is the lesson of selfless sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Let us pray that we will be always seek Christ in our life, put others in front of us, and pray for them, live for them, love them. It is the only and true way to our happiness. Let us bring all our needs, both those spoken and those in the depths of our heart, to our merciful God. For Pope Francis and all the leaders of the church, may they follow the step of Christ the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord. For government leaders in all nations, may they always work for true justice and peace for all and for coming election. We pray to the Lord. For those of our area who are troubled or in need of special assistance, may our prayers give them support and may their need be fulfilled. We pray to the Lord. For any who forget their human life from conception to nature, there is a God-given gift. May they grow in the knowledge of God. We pray to the Lord. For those who are ill, especially for coronavirus patients, May they find healing and skill care. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, especially for Caroline White, for whom this month is being offered, may they receive the mercy of God and enter into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. For the special intention, we present to the Lord in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. God of love, watch over all your people, especially those we pray for both publicly and privately. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Bless our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through all the earth and walk of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through our divine and work of human hands, it will begin our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, and through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to pray, proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you give us through her the order of our salvation. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalt and praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth for your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your Spirit upon them like the Jew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sabah was sent there, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you are there, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you, Apelas Wadi, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Please. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter into my roof, but I only say the word in my soul.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve widely the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. We have Father Patrick here and welcome and thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God with your lives. Amen. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praise we sing. You reign now in splendor. With Jesus our King, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria.